Hi everyone, this is Mohammad Abdul Gafur and my CWID is 5030242. I am here to give my project presentation on Sky Passing Project and it's based on the application of library book search operation. So let's begin. First, let me tell you about my application library book search operation. So with the Sky Passing Project, I'll be explaining you various uh, concept and various way we can get the book from the library. We are going to search book from the library. I've created many scenarios and such like sentences to be able to find books. And I'll be using my uh, Chomsky normal form CNF uh, to prove whether they are valid sentences or they are not valid sentences. And uh, I have created a code and I'll be running uh, all the sentences through the code and to check whether the sentences are valid or not valid sentences. First, uh, let me go on and show you. This is my CFG. And this is my CFG for the library book operation with various term, non-terminal words in it. And this is going to be all of the 15. These are actually 16 valid sentences. Uh, which I'll be running through my code, and then I'll be running three invalid sentences to check whether it, uh, the code is running perfectly and are the sentences valid or invalid. Uh, this is my C normal form, and uh, this is the grammar that I have used and uh, will be using to prove whether all the given sentences over here are valid or are they invalid. So, Let's just begin with uh, the code and the execution. First, let me show you. This is my code and I have used C++ to write this code and I'll be running this on Dev C++. Uh, let me tell you uh, something, few aspects of the codes. Uh, first, I have used this header file, it's base standard and it consists of all the header files, uh, including this uh, and then we don't need to add any other string or vector header file in it because it's a package. It's consists of all that all those header files in it. And then I have used mapping for this to prove parsing uh, with the terminals and the non-terminals uh, conducting mapping and then proving whether they are valid or invalid. This is the main function I'll be using, Skype. I'll be calling this function and this is the main uh, idea behind all this all the code like it will is gonna tell me after mapping and then that whether uh, any sentence matches to, with the grammar are they valid or are they invalid what i want what i'm expecting uh will i be uh, getting that or not uh this is how uh it's gonna show me whether they are valid sentences if valid uh this if condition is gonna be true or is or else then this else condition is gonna be true this is the main function. And here is where I'm asking my user to enter any sentence. Whatever the sentence I have, been show, I have shown you will be typing them. And uh, this is how we are gonna type because of this code. And then this is the core of the code. It's the, this is the Chomsky normal form. This is the grammar, everything I have written in the code uh, in this form. This is all this for the S state, this is for X1, this is for NP, nominal, and this is all non terminals, book, order, check, so on, like for the pronoun, proper noun, auxiliary, and preposition for everything. This is my chomps normal form in this code right here. And over here, I'm calling back my function Skype. After insert, after user inserts uh, the sentence, this is gonna go through all this, all the grammar and checks and verify. And then uh, with the help of this function, it's going to match map and everything and it's going to give me the output whether they are valid sentences or they are invalid sentences this is everything about the code segment over here uh, let's just get on and start the execution first let me go on with my first example and i'm going through all the 16 valid sentences first and then the invalid sentences so my first valid sentence is order the book. Let me just run this code over here real quick. Let's begin the compilation. And now order the book. 
as you can see it shows it's as a valid sentence let me just go back here and explain you how so order the book a three word sentence order it has noun and verb in it the it has debt determinant and the book it has noun and verb as well so with the noun and verb for the order and book nominal noun vp and s comes along with them as we can see them so the grammar over here with the like over here with the debt and for the s we can see everything comes along with here from the terms in normal form, we are able to derive all this grammar, all the, all the grammar for this matrices over here. You can see all the statements are right here, like for the verb book over here. And then we can see verb VP, it has book over here as well. So VP also comes in with the noun order. And the, uh, over here, we can see book as well. So S comes in here as well. Also with the nominal book comes in. So this is the way we are able to get the all the grammar from terms in normal form for the matrices. And as we have seen, it is a valid sentences because, and only because over here at the final state, we are able to see this, this and S. It means that we are able to trace back the initial S state after going through all the matrices in a down to up manner, like from zero to one, then one to two, then zero to two, then two to three, then one to three, then zero to three. After all this, we are able to trace back to initial S over here, this one. So by this, we can prove that it is a valid sentence. Uh, let's move on to the next sentence, is check that book. Let me run this. compiling that book as you can see it's also a valid sentence let's trace this once so check that book it's also, it's also a three word sentence and we can see the check is it comes with noun and verb and so does nominal uh vpns comes with it as i've shown earlier then that it's determinant then book it's VPS X2. Uh, noun and uh, verb come with it. So nominal VPS comes with it. And at the final set, VPS X2 is shown. Uh, we can also see here this S is the final state. Like in this matrix over here, S this is the final state. This means we are able to trace back S, the initial one back at the final state. So it means it's also a valid sentence. So whatever the determinant here is, if, if the sentence is check a book also, then this still is gonna be a valid sentence because at the end we are gonna see S over here. S is the initial state, which we can see at the final. When we trace back, we should be able to uh, get back to the initial state at the end and we are able to get back. So it's a valid sentence. Let's move on to the next one is the library open. We run it real quick. As we can see, it's also a valid sentence. And this is a four word sentence. Is the library open? Is is the verb? The is the determinant library, is the noun and open is the noun as well. So with the noun and nominal, open gets over here, then library determinant and s. So as we can see here as well, that we are able to reach the s the initial state at the end with the zero four we need to check the last state that are we able to trace back the initial one or not and at the last state zero four we are able to trace back the initial s over here this just means that it's a valid sentence and we have proven it let's move on with the next one check in the book order so we are going to check the book in some particular order with the sentence says, let me compile and check. Let me just check the sentence real quick. Check in the book order. 
right then yes so this is also a valid sentence it just is a five word sentence as well so the matrix would be a bit long uh, we can see it's still zero five matrix uh so with the different one check comes with a uh, non verb so nominal vpns comes through with it in as a preposition that is a determinant book is a non and a verb as well so nominal vpns comes with it and order is also noun and verb so nominal vpns comes with it also but the main thing to notice over here is at the final state are we able to reach are we able to trace back to the initial one or not the initial estimate yes we are as we can see over here we are able to trace back s and one more thing i like to point out over here is that not just zero to five is a valid state but also zero to four is also valid state because as we can see at the zero to four also at the end last state this uh, s over here so we are able to trace back s initial ones so zero to check in that book is also a valid sentence let me move on with the next example the library has that book let me run this Uh, yep so this is also a valid sentence uh this is also a five word sentence the determinant library noun has verb the determinant book which is noun and verb uh, and so we can see if we go on by from up and down approach for with like this approach then we are actually able to trace back S at the final one. So at the final state, we are able to trace back the initial S over here, which means this is also a valid sentence. And as I said earlier, we are able to trace back S over here as well. So if a sentence is the library has, then this it will be also a valid sentence. And then moving on, the next example is check this library. Let me run this real quick. So we are going to check book in some library. So a so valid sentence. Let me explain you. As we have seen earlier, it's also a three word sentence. But the first one being check, then this, and then library. Check is a noun as well as verb. This is a determinant. And library is a noun and a verb. So by tracing this, we can see that we are able to reach the final S state over here. As we can see over here, so it just means we are tracing the initial state in the final one. So yes, it is a valid sentence. Then the next sentence will be search the library. Let's run this. this we are searching in some particular library and yes it's a valid sentence so search the library is also a three word sentence and uh, as this and uh, the both are determinants so not which gonna be the same over here as well so search is known as well as verb. The or this is the determinant library will be known and verb as well. So by tracing this, we are able to come to a conclusion that at the final state, we are able to trace back as the initial one. So it's a valid sentence. Then the next example will be found the book. So yeah, we are able to find the book. Let's check this next sentence. the book and yes it's a valid sentence yes so found is a verb the is a determinant and book is a non end verb so with found vpns comes because of this comes normal form the grammar involved in it and after mapping we are able to trace back to the final estate over here as well 
So this is a valid sentence. We move on to the next one, ask the librarian. Compiling and then ask the librarian. We are asking the librarian for the book. Valid sentence. It's also a three word sentence. Ask the librarian, ask is the verb, there is a determinant and librarian is a noun. After tracing through the matrix, we are able to find S in the final. The next example is order this library book. So we are ordering some particular book from the library. Get this. Order this book. And yes, it's a valid sentence. We came back to a forward sentence again. The first word is order, then this, then library and a book. So order is a noun as well as a verb. This is a determinant. Library is a noun and a book is a noun and a verb. After tracing this events library over, uh, after tracing all this, we are able to find this. We are able to read the S, the final state. So tracing this it means that it's a valid sentence as well. Moving on, uh, we're moving to the search it in the library. Searching something particular in the library. So search. It's a valid sentence as well. Five word sentence, search it in the library. Search is a noun as well as a verb. It is a pronoun, in is a preposition, the is a determinant, and library is a noun. Or, uh, after tracing this, we can find that at the final state, S is able to be reached. It just means that after the whole matrix is run and uh, mapped, we are able to find uh, that we are able to know that this is a valid sentence. The grammar helps us to prove this. And we can see here as well, we are able to trace back to the initial state as it just means search it. Zero two is also a valid sentence. Let's move on to the next example, search that library book. Let me just check this. We are searching some particular library book over here. It's also a valid sentence. It's a four word sentence. Search is a noun as well as a verb. Dirt is a determinant library, is a noun, and book is a verb and a noun. As well. So we'll trace the whole matrix, and at the final matrix over here, zero four, we see that S is what we reached. So we are able to reach the S initial state. This just proved that it's also a valid sentence. Going on with the next sentence. So this one here, I have used the underscore so here to just say for the code purpose. So Velma K Waters is basically the name of the library. It's the library of Tamusi. Velma K Waters, let's check it's the proper noun, proper word for some library. We run this. Let's quickly see the sentence. Search the book. Search. Yes, this is a valid sentence. It's a five word sentence. And just for the purpose of keeping it as a single word, I have used underscore over here. So search is a noun and a verb. The is a determinant, book is a noun and a verb, and in is a preposition. And uh, for the Velma keywords, it's a proper noun. So with this Johnson normal form, we'll be able to get all the grammar over here and fill all the matrices. And at the final state, we can see we are able to reach the 
s which is the initial s uh, it just proved that it's also a valid sentence also as i said earlier zero comma three matrix which means so it's the book just this sentence is also valid because we are able to trace back s over here as well let me move on to the next example so here library is able to librarian found the book okay we run it it's a valid sentence as well let me show you how it's a five word sentence the librarian found the book the is a determinant librarian is a noun found is a verb the is a determinant again and book is a noun and a verb so over here is as well we can see after tracing to the matrix which use of cnf at the final state over here zero comma five matrix and the book we are able to reach the s initial states this book is also a valid sentence also if there's a sentence like zero three matrix the librarian found then it will be also a valid sentence for the grammar as it's also we are also able to reach the estate with this then the next sentence will be search the book name so we are going to check the book name in the library we are going to compile this search the book check search by the book name so it's also a valid sentence it's a five word sentence so search is a verb and a noun by the preposition does the determinant book is a noun and a verb and name is a noun uh, by tracing back to the matrix by use of cnf over here we'll achieve the s initial state again and it means that it's a valid sentence. Also, the matrix zero comma four is just a sentence like search by the book. It will also be a valid sentence because we'll be able to achieve SO here as well. This is the final state over here. We can see yes. Let's move to the next and the final sentence, final valid sentence to be precise. It's we found the library book. We are finally able to find the book. Let's check this is the valid sentence. So yeah, this is also a valid sentence as we can see over here. Shells is the valid sentence. Let me show you how. So again, a five word sentence. We is a pronoun, found is a verb, the, the determinant library is a noun, and book is a noun and a verb. So we'll be tracing the matrix, bottom up approach, and going through all the stages. Then at the final one, at 0, 0,5 matrix, we'll achieve the S initial state back. Let me show you how we are achieving. So for the matrix 0, 0,5, as we can see over here, it just expand to the matrix 0, 0,1, 1, 0,5 matrix, then 0, 0,2, 2, 0,5 matrix, 0, 0,3, 3, 0,5 matrix, plus 0, 0,4, 4, 5. Then we'll be mapping for these two grammars, like for the 0, 0,1 over here and the 1, 0,5. Are they both in the Chomsky normal form or not? And then we'll be doing the same for 0, 0,2 and 2, 0,5. Are they both? in the terms of normal form or not if we found any then yes uh we'll be writing down and if in that grammar if we find s then it's uh it just means the valid sentence so basically we have done the same for all like over here and this example as well as here and all the examples so this is how we are able to find all the valid sentences so there were a total of 16 valid sentences let's now move on to the invalid sentences. The first one coming is just library is open. Let's check. So basically we're checking for invalid sentences. Library is open. No, that's not a valid sentence. 
as I said earlier, these are invariant sentences examples. The library is open three word sentence. Library is a noun, and then is is a verb, and then open is again a noun. So we will not be able to trace back uh, this sentence. So it's gonna be an invalid sentence over here. As you can see, we are not able to reach S over here. Uh, we just cases if we were able to reach, but you know, with this sentence, we will not be able to reach a valid sentence. Moving on, search it by order. You can check this. This is also an invalid sentence. We check over here, search it by order is a four word sentence and search is a noun and a verb. It is a pronoun by the preposition and order is a noun and a verb as well. But as we can see null matrix over here, it just means it's it not valid. We cannot find S, we cannot trace back S back over here at the zero four matrix. It means it's not a valid one. But if there's a sentence with two words search it, then it will be a valid because we, we are able to find S over here. But of course, it's a search it by order sentence and at the final state, we are not able to find it. It's not a valid sentence as well. We can check here, it's a null one. Let's move on to our last sentence, last invalid sentence. So found in the library. It's compiling. You can see it's also an invalid sentence. Uh, let me just show you how it's a five word sentence book found in the library. So, book is a noun and a verb, found is a verb, in is a preposition, there is a determinant, and library is a noun. While we trace all this matrices at the final zero five matrix, even with the terms normal form, we'll find that we are unable to find the initial S state over here. It means we are unable to track the initial estate. That just simply means that it's not a valid sentence. And among this whole uh, sentence, only the word book will be the valid with the grammar. Rest of all, like at the 0, 0,2 matrix or 0, 0,3 matrix or 0, 0,4 matrix, like 0, 0,5, 0, 0,5 matrix, at no matrix, we can find the final S state. So it's invalid sentence. Uh, this were all three examples of the invalid sentences. Uh, this is how I, I was able to find about it. Uh, this is the Chomsky normal form. This is the grammar. Uh, this is the main core part of the core as well as finding out whether the sentence is a valid or invalid sentence. Uh, this just gives all the terminals and then this are all the non-terminals and we'll be mapping them, comparing with this function and then whatever the users enter the sentence will be compared and its validity or invalidity will be uh, shown at the end so that should be all about it and yeah. so this is this was my project for my uh, final uh, final project for my course automata theory for sky passing project Thank you.